Good morning, everyone. Carbon Coffee, South Lake Time. As you know, we are going to check out some great cars. Now, last weekend, we had the Kavanaugh Flight Museum. I met up with Colin and, and I drove a bunch of old military vehicles. So I think that would be awesome if you check out that video and let me know what you thought because it's like double clutching. Actually, double clutching like you should because you can't drive non-synchronized vehicles without double clutching. We're going to go ahead and uh, walk across here as you do. Nice 240 right there. Couldn't see it because I didn't film it, but he was right there. Little channel update, we are at 10,600, or exact 10,613. So we gained another 100, which is good, but we're still a long way away from the ultimate goal of 100,000. Could they have a little bit of a water problem over here? Yuck, there's a mud. I'm gonna walk through that muddy stuff. Because these shoes, they, uh, they actually got a hole in it, and you know where? The clutch pedal. <laughs> so I need to replace these shoes. Dude. <laughs> I feel wet this on my sock. I really need to replace them. But I wonder how many other people have that problem where their sole on their manual side just completely gets hosed up. Actually, it was early today. There's no line over there. Might also be less people at the show this time than last time, but we'll see. What we're also going to see is all these awesome cars, so let's go and uh, see what we can see.
Dino. Right guys, back in the car. Now I don't want to say I told you so, but I did say something last month and it came to pass. There was a police officer that posted himself right on the on-ramp of the highway. <sighs> really hate that people just don't have common sense. I really wish that people would just stick to as a regular send. Here's an example of what you shouldn't do on an on-ramp. And here's an example with a similar car, which you should do on that on-ramp. Just send it in a straight line, don't do stupid stuff. There was also a group of people that were egging people on, and of course, those people were indeed egged on and tried to do a burnout, but it didn't quite work out. Um, just, just don't, because this is the exact example that I was giving last month. It wounds it for everyone. It was Everyone was lined up, waiting to see these cars leave. The cop showed up and everyone was gone. Completely gone. So, I just, again, like to ask everyone that attends these shows to not egg people on and also just do a clean send, don't do a burnout, don't end up in the old man ruin everything section. Because there are some people that got a little loose it's just, that's unnecessary. The only thing that you should worry about essentially is keeping your car in a straight line and if you want to, give it a little go-go so we can get the audio, we can get the excitement of hearing these cars accelerate because who knows, maybe in 10, 20 years, it'll all be electric and it'll be boring as hell. So going forward, the show, it was a little bit subdued. There's less people here than last time. There's probably not a show going on. That's usually the case when there's less people at this show. Um, but we still had some great cars out there. And my favorite of show had to be the first one that I saw, actually, that caught my eye that I said, okay, I need to film that one. It's a 240Z. Race livery. Gotta love it. Honorable mention goes to, I think, the S10. Very clean truck super nice engine bay and then when you go to the back you have that freaking wood inlay you know nothing got put in there of course you know it's definitely a show truck 
I love seeing that. You know, people take something that is utilitarian and turn it into something that is absolutely beautiful inside and out. So that is the honorable mention. It was almost number one, but I just liked the 240Z a little bit better. So with that being said, the outtakes are coming up. Did have a decent amount of wind, so I think we might have more than usual, but we'll see. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed it. And as always, I'll see you guys on the flip side. Mm -hmm.